Welcome to the toy shop at TJ Maxx. I want to show you guys the Lego and boot Lego section they have here. First thing that I came across is this Lego classic set 11009. This is bricks and lights. And I've never seen this before. 441 pieces. You can make little shadow puppets on the wall over here with light bricks. I've never seen that before, but it actually looks kind of fun. They're selling this for... $20.99, you can compare it at $27. They've got three of those in stock, it looks like. Over here, they've got a Lego City set. This is 60215 Fire Station. It's looking pretty awesome. Box is heavily damaged, but they're selling that for $49.99. But I want to show you guys some of the non-Lego for how bad is it, maybe. We got Picasso tiles. These are 12 magnetic tiles with 500 building bricks, and it's super heavy. I was like, why is that so heavy? But you can build stuff like this. Like Picasso art, apparently. And three-dimensional stuff. And guys, and then I want to show you this as well. This is Zuru Max. Build more. 759 pieces. Looks very much like Lego, right? But the price, the price is incredible. $15.99 for 759 pieces. The piece nerds are going crazy. Looks like they do have one other thing over here, too. Oh my gosh, Clark, man. We might have to try this for how bad is it. This is City Project Mecca. It's a 12 in one and it looks like a transformer of sorts. You can build all this stuff, including an excavator, wood grab, crane. That's a mining vehicle, a mixer, a bulldozer, pushing stone car, roller. I think I might try this, dude. How much is this exactly? $20, holy smokes. I feel like you might like that though, eh? It's kind of cool. It seems kind of crazy coming here and passing on some actual Lego stuff that's sitting here to get this, but the series is fun and I'm curious to see how this guy turns out. Welcome everyone back to another episode of How Bad Is It? This is a series where I take non-Lego branded brick building products and I answer the age old question, how bad is it? In today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at something we found at TJ Maxx. This is the City Project Mecca. And of course, Clark May was interested in this because it looks very much like a transformer, but you can build 12 different models out of this. Well, construction. They're all construction related and you can build this, which, uh, Spoiler alert, we're gonna be building the giant mech. It's made of those little cars, you, as you can see on the eyes. Yeah, he's like, uh, who's that transformer that's like that? Devastator? Devastator? He's like Devastator. I'll give you guys a little bit of a visual cue here. This is what Devastator looks like. And as you can see, he's made of various construction vehicles that make up parts of his body. When we saw this, that's very much what this reminded me of. So I'm excited to get into this. And we are gonna do just that right now with the help of Neufetect. And Clarkman. And Clarkman, of course. You know Clark's going to be my builder on this. I'm hoping that the quality is worth it. Uh, are the and bags going to... I was about to just say, are the bags going to be numbered? Uh, it doesn't appear to be the case, Clarkman. It's this sticker sheet. Oh, gosh. How the instructions look Oh, uh, like for you building the vehicles and stuff? All of the pages leading up to page 13. They show you how to build all of the different vehicles here. But once you get to page 14, that's when they show you how to start building Devastator, which is what we're going to be calling him. Just unbag everything, and we'll kind of sort it by color, which uh, there's two colors here. And then we'll start rocking this thing out. Make life easy when we go Crack to build this into guy. another one. Oh, I think this might... It has a yellow hook in it, Dad. It's a lot of yellows, huh? Mm-hmm. Get a lot of hand here. At first I was like, wow, $20 for this, but now I'm like... Well, that's a lot of pieces in here. I know that because we've sorted through them all and it's taken us a while. But we're at the very tail end. These are the final bags that we're putting in here. There's going to be something, Clark. Well, I want to find Chinese stars. What construction vehicle doesn't have Chinese stars, Clark? Now? This thing is, it's pretty substantial. It starts here and it goes all the way back here at 127 steps. Mm -hmm. And we need one of these. We've got a slight setback here. As I was looking at the model, I'm like, that's looking very much like a full-on vehicle. And that's when I realized that I thought we were working on the big thing, but uh, no, it actually starts over here. We were actually building this this whole time. How bad is it? It's really good. It's like an excavator. Should we tear it apart? Yeah, I think we have to tear it apart. It's so devastating. It is devastator, so I can see that. <laughs> we're gonna start in the actual spot this time where we're building this guy. We're in business now. We are just about done with step 11 on the first page here, and here's what we got so far. That's looking a lot more like what we're trying to build than uh, what that was. Stickers definitely don't feel great on this, and I'm, I'm thinking maybe we're just gonna leave the stickers off. Here's the torso, looking pretty nice. 
come in transformer like <laughs> and Clark has a couple little side builds made over there as well as he's grabbing for the last piece to put on yeah. in the last minute we didn't get anywhere close to the hundred and some odd steps that we need to get to to build this guy one little side note I don't know if you can see it on camera but some of these yellow pieces they're definitely a weird color it's it's like a green tinge to them maybe you can see it maybe you can't anyways we'll pick this up with uh for building. We have fast forwarded substantially here and Clark man, the absolute legend that he is, has been building this thing religiously for like two days. It's a very difficult build and I'm convinced that if he can survive this, which he is very close to doing, three steps away, I think he can literally build anything out of Lego because this thing is a little tricky thing, but he's doing it and he's right there. What are your thoughts so far, Clark man? Pretty jank build. I have T lo loads of bad luck this morning when I was building it. I don't think it's luck, buddy. I think it's just that it's jank. <laughs> it really is. He's got a lot of parts left over, which is to be expected because, again, this is the primary thing here is to build these 12 items. You take those and then you make that out of it. We just skipped We skipped all of these to make this guy. This guy to plop the thing on. Okay. Get, you guys are going to... <laughs> Something just fell off of it. Chad really likes to fall off. Oh my. It's his what were we thinking? $20 on this? <laughs> oh. Oh, I feel bad for you. I really do. I bailed on this. I was the parts guy and I was like, oh gosh, this thing's, it's just terrible. It really, okay, I won't judge it. I said I wouldn't judge it. I'm kind of judging it a little bit, Clark. Now. You hate it? It's so terrible. But you were dedicated and you, you defeated it, assuming we can get his head on there. Uh, You're so close. It's like... Oh, gosh. There's no way that we're even going to be able to play with this thing, man. Oh, right on the cusp. Mm. Tragedy strikes. It hurts so bad. <laughs> When you're six years old, or anger. When you're seven years old and you get a headache from building a set, that's when you know it's bad. That's when you know it's the worst Look set. Look at that piece the on the top there. Look how jankified that is. It is. I told you how. Let's just get that head put on here, get a shot of it, and then let's go out in the backyard and give it a good kick. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it for you. I can try it. No, I don't trust you. All right, I won't trust me either. Come on. <gasps> It's on! Devastator. Bubble stator. He looks awesome. He really does, but my God, that build Clark, man. I don't even want to touch him. You show me how he moves around. I'm not doing anything to this I'm not thing. touching him at all. We have to show his articulation, man. I, we can't. He has articulation we can't even show because he's so fragile. His arms. <laughs> his legs. His, his arms move... His foot piece fell off there. That's why we're not showing articulation, guys. So okay, uh, he, he doesn't have any articulation. Let's to, just be honest. To, to this build, I give it a big thumbs down. Thumbs down from Clarkman, Roxy. Thumbs down from her. Thumbs uh, down from me. I, I, I kind of like it, but if it wasn't so janky, I would love it. If you weren't so into Transformers and making stuff like this, you would have never survived this, right? Like this is this is right up your alley. This is the things you love. This is a crazy build, guys. So you just know. Oh, we didn't even put the stickers on either. There's all kinds of stickers, but yeah. the stickers sucked. They really did. Yeah. Twenty dollars, Clark. We spent on this thing. Definitely not worth it. No, I don't. I don't think it is. I, I think we. I think we should have put that twenty dollars towards a Lego set. Yeah. And this is very rare for us to even say that because. Usually these how bad is it videos, it's like, hey, it's surprisingly good for this reason. Maybe there's a couple little bad things. But this guy, oh my gosh, that build was was something. Don't stand him up on the box. He's going to slip and break. Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't I don't know. Here's, here's he has what he looks like. He an oxygen tank. <laughs> he does. You did a great job building it, though. I have to say, like, that is wicked impressive. I built that whole thing with no help. I... I was your peace guy for like the first hour of the build. <laughs> Give me a little bit of credit, sir. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I, I want to punch him so bad. I, I won't. I won't. Get one last look at this guy because I don't know what we're going to do with him. Maybe put him on display, I guess, 
in a celebration of Clark Man's hard work. But if you're thinking about buying this, which I, I hope that you're not, just don't do it, guys. Just leave it on the shelf, take your $20, buy yourself some Lego sets. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could do so much better. The, so. But this guy is so cool. We could try to build this out of Lego. Should we try to build it out of like, Lego? Yeah, you Lego? could, I guess. It'd probably build a lot better if you built it out of Lego Devastator. pieces. Devastator. <laughs> that would be a cool build, actually. Devastator. I mean, you have the instructions here. If we got all the pieces together, you can do it. But do you really want to go through 127 steps to build that out of Lego? Just build... If we did this whole thing apart, and then we just only buy all the pieces from us, just in purple and green, we make the real devastation. Now that's an idea. <laughs> that would be really cool. Yeah, the real And then we could really do a comparison of how bad it is, but I don't think that's going to change. How bad is it? It's bad. Do we have a scale? Do we have like a rating? It's so how many stars out of... Ding, 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 ding. One star, two stars, zero... What? But, uh, but three and a half. You're giving that three and a half stars? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, wicked it, generous. It's for the, how cool and stuff it is. And then the half means um, kind of really jank. Okay, very <laughs> generous rating from Clark, man. Three and a half stars out of five. I'm going to give it a solid one and a half out of five. There you cool. go. Uh, <laughs> Devastator, as we're calling him. City Project Mecca. Bombastator. Save your money, folks. Turn the lights off. Don't even want them on light anymore. <laughs> <laughs>